saw you were growing, here's a little review. You know you're still small, but we want you to know. Though this year's been bumpy, it's allowed us to grow. Welcome to the stream. Twenty Twenty Baby by Selena Cyani Antonio and illustrated by Annie Wilkinson. Hello, little one. We've been waiting for you. So while you were growing, here's a little review. We know you're still small, but we want you to know. Though this year has been bumpy, it's allowed us to grow. It started with fires and natural disasters. Then a virus appeared and spread faster and faster. When I'm feeling alone or afraid, nothing is going my way. Oh, when I'm just running a little low on faith, it's when I just gotta believe there's power in
lives because they're a superhero team. Their parents, their teachers, and their friends knew them as Paula, Greg, and RJ. But their superhero names were... Lee, Al, Toke. What? what? Al, Toke. Lee, what? Lee, Toke. something about it. <laughs> can't do anything. I'm way more careful than more stupid little kids. We'll see about that. Now get off my property before I breathe on you and you'll be the next sick one. They turned and ran back to the street. I've got to get home. I've got school tomorrow. Yeah, I've got to get home too. Okay, let's meet again tomorrow night and come up with a plan. Totally. Oh. Greg saw two kids wearing medical masks. Why are you guys wearing masks? Well, people are getting sick. So we thought if we wore a face mask, it would help keep us from getting sick. That's a great idea. Good night. When the team got together, 
Greg told the others about the kids I talked to earlier. Paula got an idea. Remember Ramsey told us that when he breathes on people, he can make them sick? Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe if we were wearing medical masks, his nasty breath wouldn't hurt us. Do you think that would work? It's worth a try. That's fine for us. But what about everyone else in town? Why can't we give everyone else masks? Yeah, we're superheroes. Let's get to work. But what about the people who are already sick? That's right. Rampage told us that when they breathe on people, they can make them sick. A lot of people didn't stand too close to each other. Or walk too close together. OK, everyone, let's get to work. Totally. totally. Next day, the team went to all the drugstores in town and got all the masks they had. They went all over town giving everyone face masks to wear when they went out. Soon, everyone in town wore them. And whenever possible, they kept their distance from people who weren't in the same household. Before long, fear of people were getting sick. No matter how hard I try, I can't make people sick now! That's right, Rampage. I told you that we'd stop you. I should have made you sick when I had the chance. So go back to where you come from and never come back if you know it's good for you. Totally. Totally! So Rampage left town and the townspeople got better. Rampage never came back, so life returned to normal. And the Totally team went back to finding lost pets, helping the ladies cross the streets and doing things to help their parents. Totally! Let's be superheroes so we can save the day. Wherever there is trouble, we're on our way. Let's be superheroes so we can save the world With our superpowers We're super boys and super girls We're superheroes Let's be superheroes so we can save the day Wherever there is trouble, we're on our way Let's be superheroes so we can save the world With our superpowers We're super boys and super girls We're super
We were forced to stay home with more time to reflect, something every generation often neglects. Hello, my name is Akira, and this is my series of haiku. We have big problems, tough to think about, but still we should recognize. This room is a mess. Hide it all in the closet so I can't see it. The room looks so clean, but it's still a disaster. Hidden, but still there. To deal with the mess, bring it out into the open so it can be seen. Reflection. Water has my face. Rivers flow, the face changes. Adjust, reflection. Evolution, considerations, additions, decisions, growth. Adjust, reflection. Hello, my name is Melody, and these are my haikus. The earth turns dark red as fires get immensely worse. We need to change. Hearts break, they crumble. Forests are blazing up. Let's step up and help. Terrible beauty, blazing destroyer of life, ashes dance with flames. The earth calls us for help, but we all ignore the cries, but we cannot change. Fire can be good, without it we may be doomed, fire can be good. Let's stay positive, we're all in this together, we need to believe. Hello, my name is Cage, and these are my series of haikus called Connect and Reflect. Alone in our homes, as we virtually connect, we think and reflect. We think about change, to, to spread love to all people, for us to connect. We are all different, with our own interests and lives, but that doesn't matter. We should live with pride. If we accept each other, together we strive. We are all very different, but deep down we're the same. There's no more to say. Hello, I am Isaac, and these are my series of haiku called The Changing Ocean. The waves are awake, they attack us tidal waves, a shock to everyone. Their heads stuck in nets, human trash kills the turtles. They will die, unless. Plastic bottles killing all marines, unless we try to rescue. Scuba divers see the nets on the big blue whale, Petrified, unless. Oil is now spilling as the ocean now turns black. Now fish die, unless. As we look outside, the beautiful horizon shines in the sunlight. We can save the ocean. We've ditched straws and plastics. We fight for the sea. Hello, my name is Kaylin, and these are my haikus about the sky. 
The sky is a cool thing. Graceful and pretty birds soar through the air. The sky is changing now. Pollution is rising. It's our fault, our things. Cars are infecting the air around us. A bird can't breathe due to us. The smoke affects the air, but we still continue to pollute anyways. We must think, we must reflect. We are ruining our home. The world is in pain. The sky is really light gray. We are saving the world, but it's not safe. The sky is blue. The air is clean. The sky is so sweet. Hi, my name is Carson, and this is my series of haikus. Fish swim in the sea. His friends swim with them today. Friends fade. Plastic waves. Our earth is dying. Our help is needed right now. It's now or never. Our sun glowing so bright. Up in the sky super high. Up where the birds fly. Think about each other. Look at what we have done now. We need to change this. These nerds are my friends. They help me through tough times. Are these people nerds? Hi, my name is Paige, and this is my series of haiku titled, Look. We heard the world's cry, change the world. Come on, let's go. We must think more now. Giant garbage dumps. Plastic kills too many fish. Reusing is your path. Lightning can cause fires. Australia blanketed flames. Want to change the game? Think about turtles. Eating trash. Suffocation. Repurpose plastic. Defending our world, only good times will exist. Positivity. Drastic changes now. We are in this together. Time to take action. There's a push for equality, human rights, and pride. We celebrate differences. It's about what's inside. We joined a powerful movement because Black Lives Matter but we need action and justice. Enough with the chatter.
Did we mention the earth is getting much warmer? We don't mean to scare you, but it's really important. The animals need us, and so do our oceans. We've ditched straws and plastics, but we've been a bit slow motion.
It's been quite the whirlwind with many questions unanswered. We just keep reminding ourselves this year isn't canceled. Whirlwinds are simple to enter, but once you're sucked in, they're hard to leave. Tight or heavy weather, come whatever, girl, you cling to me. So far as tying you down, this morning I can do now. So let's ride on the breeze and fly spirals with me. You were a whirlwind, girl. You're a whirlwind, and I go wherever you're, wherever you're going. You're going. I knew the moment I met that you were gonna sweep me off my feet I told you that night by the river you're the whisper blowing through the trees oh yeah so far as tying you Because if there's one shining light, it's young people like you who seem to have more hope than any of us do. What was your favorite part about spending time with your family? Being able to hug someone. Snuggling in bed. Um, um, feeding the ducks with my family. Oh uh, yeah, we went on like road trips and did a lot of stuff outside. Um, well, we sometimes went for walks. Um, and that's pretty much all we did, and, and, like, watch shows and stuff and stayed up late. It was, it was good to have, like, bonding time with them, but also it got a bit annoying sometimes since we're all in, under pressure and all around each other at the mm -hmm. same time. Uh, it was fun because I got to annoy my family a lot. <laughs> um. Uh, but it started getting really boring because I mean, you were just with the same people every single day. Uh, it was good. There was uh, lots of time to talk and uh, yeah, I'm connected more to my family now. Well, it was fun. It was really fun. We did get to play a little bit and watch some family movies. Well, I didn't spend as much time with my family as I thought I would. I didn't really see them till 4, because once 3.30, it was 3.30, I just chilled for like 30 minutes. Well, we um, did a puzzle um, that was like a really big one, and it was, it was pretty fun. Usually we don't do that type of stuff, because like we don't have time. You cheer and you protest. 
You fight for what's right. You're braver than all of us. The future is bright. outside their grandma's door. She couldn't go to the store to get her own groceries and they couldn't visit her. Look, Grace, what's that at the base of that tree? Grace and Gloria took a few steps towards the tree and discovered a tiny garden with flowers, painted rocks, a picnic table, a pathway to a tiny dirt at the bottom of the tree, and even a lounge chair. Everything was miniature. On the tree was pinned this note. A fairy called Glow once bright in your day. Please add to the magic, but don't take away. These days can be hard, but we're in this together. So enjoy her wee garden and some nice weather. Let's come back tomorrow and bring something to add to the garden. Good idea. They carried on to their grandmas and left the 
groceries by the front door. Grandma opened the window. Thank you, Grace. Thank you, Gloria. I wish I could give you all a big hug, but we still have to wait a while longer till we can get back together again. We know. We miss you, Grandma. Bye for now. Here's some Gloria, then Razor and Hope. The next day they returned to the tree with things to add to the tiny, tiny garden. A toy ring, a pencil, a whistle, two paper clips from the mom's desk, and a peppermint candy. Just in case Flo gets hungry. Grace even found a little silver ornament from last December's Christmas tree. Under the couch. The daily visits to Glow's garden went on for some time. But one day when they arrived, they discovered that someone had smashed everything in the little garden. The covered rocks were falling into the forest, the picnic table was flattened, and they saw the little ornament and the cat was broken. Oh no, Lori, what can we do? I'd like to find out who destroyed Glow's little garden. Just then, Percy, the school bully, came down the path. What are you losers doing out here? Um, nothing. Just mind your own business, Birdie. Get lost. Was that your stuff around the tree? No, it belonged to Glow. It was her garden. Who's Glow? A fairy. She's a friend of ours. We're such fairies. There's no such thing as fairies. There is so. At that moment, the tiny door opened, and the tiny person stepped out of it at the bottom of the tree. She shimmered and glowed and even sparkled. You're the one who destroyed my garden. Why are you such a mean person? Well, no one likes me anyways, and everyone calls me names, so I might as well be mean. And now that COVID is here, I can't uh, go anywhere or see anyone, and it really makes me mad. COVID is hard on everyone, Bertie, but we have to work together, not be mean. What do you think I should do? I'm a magic fairy, Bertie. If you do three nice things before dawn tomorrow, everyone will be nice to you, and you can start being nice all the time. Okay, I'll try. With that glow being Grace and Gloria, I'm really sorry about glow scarring. I shouldn't have been mean to you. I'm glad you apologized. Do you want to walk back with us? Sure. So the three of them walk down the path and out of the forest. You see, Birdie, you've already done one of your nice things today. I did? Yes, you did. Apologizing to us. Wow, this may not be so hard. When Birdie got home, she did all the things her mom had been telling her to do for quite a few days. She cleaned her room. She did all the dishes after dinner. And she even took out the garbage. Birdie's mom said, Thank you, Birdie. You are so good for doing your chores today. You're welcome, Mom. That night, Birdie thought, and she thought, and she thought, I've done two nice things, but I need one more before it dawn tomorrow. She lay awake and she thought, and she thought, and she thought some more. I know what I'll do. Bertie jumped out of bed and gathered up some tiny rocks, some paint, some popsicle sticks, and a tiny silver ornament from Mrs. Santa's Christmas tree. She painted the rocks, built a tiny picnic table with the popsicle sticks, and polished up the ornament and grabbed a couple of peppermint candies. Just in case Flo gets hungry. The sky was just getting light when she rushed out of the house and ran to the tree where Flo lived. She set up the garden just like it was before she wrecked it. Just as the flu was rising, she finished. Flo stepped out of her little door. She shimmered and glowed and even sparkled. Thank you, Birdie, but you don't need my magic. If you're nice to everyone, they'll be nice to you. I'm going to try that all the time. Glow? Yes, Bertie? When I get lonely, can I come and visit your garden? Anytime at all, Bertie. And sometimes, if you see me, we could talk a bit. After that, Bertie was nice to her mom, her classmates, and her teachers. 
And Glow did say hello to Brady sometimes. Grace and Gloria stopped by the little garden whenever they took groceries to their garden. The end. <laughs> This year's been full of lessons, less screen time and more self-care. Life's about kindness and equality, family and fresh air. We're grateful for what we've gained because our love has now doubled. You are the greatest addition to our little bubble. As you drift off to dreamland with one kiss too many, we're ready for the next chapter. Bye bye 2020. Small, but we want you to know, though this year's been bumpy, it's a lot of Welcome to the strange world of Dream A virus appeared that spread faster and faster. We were forced to stay home with more time to reflect. Something every generation often neglects. There's a push for equality, human rights, and pride. To celebrate our differences above what's inside. We joined a movement because Black Lives Matter. We need action and justice. Enough for Welcome to the strange and special place. 
In a whirlwind with questions and answers, reminding ourselves this year isn't canceled. If there's one shining light, it's people like you who seem to have more hope than any of us do. Test, you fight for what's right, you're braver than us, the future is bright, this year's full of lessons, less screen time or care, kindness and equality, friendly and fresh air, grateful what we gained, our love is now doubled, you're the greatest addition to our little bubble, as you drift off into dreamland with one kiss too many, ready for a chapter bye bye 2020. Yeah. 